princess. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. You ready for your bottle? It's 7 a.m. And I have just been sleeping until Skyla wakes up in the mornings. The, the longer she sleeps, the better. She usually sleeps at least 12 hours, which is amazing. And today it was like at 7 on the dot. It's pretty much around that time every day. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I'm like a little squashed bug on a windshield because today is day 3 of a 20-day shred that I'm doing. I'm trying to get into like better shape before the cruise because I'm going to be in bikinis and beachwear the entire time and I was losing weight really steadily while I was pregnant. I started off at 190 and now I'm down to, oh I need a weigh this morning so you guys will join me for that. I need a weigh this morning but what happened was when I stopped breastfeeding my weight really stood still and I've heard a lot of people say that that happened and it did happen to me. I wasn't one of the people who, who starts losing weight once they stop breastfeeding. I was the opposite. I stopped losing weight when I stopped breastfeeding. So now I'm on a very strict um, fitness plan. I have two workouts a day. One is a run in the morning that you'll see and one is a weight training in the uh, afternoon, early evening that you'll see. And I eat six times a day and I'm going to show you what all of those meals are. So hopefully this will be helpful to some of you guys. And I'm also going to do a sit down video talking about starting day one postpartum to now and hopefully I'll do that video when I actually reach my goal weight, which is 125 pounds, is my goal weight. But once I get to my goal weight, I really want to tone up and get um, even more fit because after starting this fitness plan, it made me realize how much I really enjoy these meal planning scenarios and having help from my trainer, Amber. I'll link her website below. Um, it's ADO Fitness and her name is Amber Don Orton. She's been helping me since day one. And I've just been realizing how much I'm actually really enjoying this process. I thought that I would be miserable, but I wake up the next morning and I know it's only day three, so maybe I will become miserable. But for now, I wake up in the morning and I'm just like excited to start the day. I'm excited for my workouts and I'm excited for the for eating right. It makes me feel good about myself. And so hopefully this will inspire someone out there to start a plan as well. In the morning, part of my routine is while I change Skyla's diaper and put on her outfit for the day, she drinks her bottle because she is always starving right when we wake up and she can hold her bottle on her own now. She's seven months old and it just makes it a lot easier for me changing everything because she's less squirmy when she has her bottle. Look at the cute Valentine's Day Honest diapers. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them so much. It's the little things. Oh, I also have a code in my description box on how to get your first um, Honest Company bundle <coughs> for free. Skyla's dress now. I always put her hair in a ponytail or pigtails because her hair is getting so long and I want to keep it out of her face. And then sometimes I put a headband on her. She's wearing one of her outfits that Daddy got her for Christmas from Costco. <laughs> I know she wants to get out because I'm talking to her and she's wearing her itsy ritzy Donatella mocks. You look so cute today and then she's going to hang out here while I get dressed. I am going to wear my champion workout shorts. These are really old. This is a Texas Revolution studio tank and then my new Nike sports bra that I got yesterday at Academy and we match. Hmm. We match. Oh, are you so cute? Don't pull my hair out. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Now I'm taking my glasses off and putting contacts on so that I can wear my new sunglasses while I run. And my teeth are brushed and you guys might notice that my teeth are a little bit wider than usual. You probably can't tell in this lighting because my bathroom has like a yellow tonish lighting for some reason on my camera. But this is the um, kit that I'm using. Oh, didn't mean to flip you guys off. Smile Sciences. This is the bubblegum flavor. And this is the mint flavor. You can check out my description box for a link on where to find that. But you might notice throughout the video that my teeth are whiter. I only did it one time and I feel like so much more confident. I'm going to put on my running shoes, which these are the absolute best. I got a lot of questions about these in um, some of my older videos and I never, I forgot to show you guys what they were. But this is what they are. They're super comfy. These are dirty because where I run it has a dirt trail. But Zella knows we're going running so she's like patiently waiting. 
I also have the worst blisters on my heel ever, so I'm putting these Band-Aid blister gel guards on. And now I'm gonna make sure the diaper bag is packed, which I'm pretty sure it is. I need to add some more diapers, and then I have an extra outfit for Skyla. Got a bottle. So, more diapers, and I need to get like a burp cloth. Actually, no, I think there's tons of burp cloths in the car. I do need to get more little trash bags to put in the front here for her. If she has like a, needs a diaper change and I need a little trash bag, I need to go grab those. Got my running sunglasses. Come on. Good girl. Come over here with mommy so I can wash this, wash your bottle out. So if I feed Zell in the morning, she refuses to eat because she won't eat before her run because she's a fancy dog. Duchess in the morning, if she ate all of her dinner, look at all the stuff she spreads out. I've never seen a cat or any animal for that matter just spread their dinner all about, but there it is. So I'll feed Duchess if she's eaten all of her food, but she obviously hasn't because she's prissy. Skyla still gets these probiotic drops in her morning bottle. The only reason this isn't Gerber Soothe is because they didn't have any at Baby's RS when I went, but I really like these as well. Where's Zell? Zell! What are you doing? Come here. Why does Daddy keep taking your collar off when he takes you running at night? I think we're ready to go. I just checked and it's supposed to be like around the 60s while we're running and the 70s is too hot for me honestly to run. I do it anyway, but the 60s is perfect weather for me. For Skyla, I might need to put a little jacket on her since she's not gonna be like pumping her heart rate or anything. So we have that in the car always just in case. I forgot to um, unpack the car and clean out my car yesterday, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll remember to do that today. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready to go. Skyla grew out of the Wubba Nubs, so I wanted to use the Nature Sutton, Nature Sutton pacifiers because they are definitely all natural. You don't have to worry about any BPA. And so I wanted to find like an animal to attach it to because she loves that. And I found this one on Amazon. I will link it for you guys. I have this one. And then we also have a Puffin for her, for her crib because if you put it in the crib with them, their pacifier can't fall out of the crib through the crib slots if you don't use bumpers. Like we don't use bumpers so the pacifiers can fall out of the crib slots. So putting one of these on the pacifier will prevent that and that way you can use this all natural pacifier as well. I completely forgot to weigh myself this morning because I was so flustered running around everywhere and trying to get out of the house. Skyla's talking to us. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, am I on the wrong side? Oh my god, I'm on the wrong side. I've had this car for four months and I'm on the wrong freaking side. Glad you guys all got to witness that. I got my coffee. It's actually really tasty. There's something about Starbucks coffee that is just, you know what? I think the reason this is tasty is because it's not almond milk, it's cream, even though it says almond milk right here. I've gotten very accustomed to what almond milk tastes like, and I'm pretty positive this is regular cream. Nope. I don't know. You can't tell the difference. Maybe that's a good thing, but it does taste like regular cream today for some reason. Baby. We're here, Zell. Are you sitting in that seat like a human? And Skyla's ready to get the heck out of her car seat. Yes, I know. Okay, so I've got the stroller in the back of the car. And the way I do this is I um, take the stroller out. Zell stays in the car till the very end. I take the stroller out, pop it open, take Skyla out of her car seat, change her if she needs to be changed put her in the stroller. Today I'm gonna have to put on her little sweater because it's a little chilly out today. And then at the very last minute I get Zell. So let's do this. Is 
Giselle goes on the right side of the stroller and we run like this. Sometimes I let her leash out a little bit so she can go more, but we have to cross the street to get to the trail right now. So I'm going to pause this so that I can pay attention. Okay, Zell, come over here. We're about to do a three mile run. Skyla, unless we're like going, she tries to climb out, but once I start running, she chills. She enjoys it. But I like this because you can put it in front like that. So if the sun is like right in their eyes, you can cover it, which is pretty awesome. And I can see her friend back here. This is the Baby Trend Falcon jogging stroller. And I really like it. Zell gets tied up to the swing set, and Skyla gonna come swing with mommy. I'm gonna come swing. I'm gonna come swing with mama. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Is that fun? Is that fun, Skyla? Yeah? Now I'm gonna make a bottle for Skyla. She's in her car seat. And I make a bottle in the back of my car so that I can give it to her while I load up the stroller and get ready to go. Because as you can probably hear, she's getting a little bit fancy, but she knows it's time for her bottle. She knows right when we get in the car that it's bottle time. Good job, big girl. And now I'm gonna put my stroller up and get ready to get out of here. Okay, ready to go? Let's go. Okay, I'm about to run into Snap Kitchen to get my naked chicken lunches and my shrimp chorizo dinners. And on the way back from my run, I've been listening to this is my favorite audiobook, this and the magic. And it just like gives me the inspiration to, and I just remember like whatever chapter I heard, um, like in the morning, I remember that throughout my day. And it really does help me stay motivated. There's like different things that work for different people. This is what works for me the most. Check. Okay, I've got my apple cider vinegar here. And I'm going to do one tablespoon. I'm supposed to do a tablespoon of this before my run in the morning, but I didn't have it yet. So since I didn't have it, it's gonna be after today. But tomorrow I'm gonna be doing starting these before my morning run. Here we go. Here's my breakfast. It's 10 strawberries. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means eight, Nick ate three of them this morning, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> slice some more up. 10 strawberries, one of these light and fit Greek vanilla yogurts, and then two tablespoons of sliced almonds. These are blanched, but I already had these, but um, yeah, two tablespoons of almonds, and that is breakfast. And now I'm gonna sit here on my sumo lounge while I watch Skyla play for a little bit. In two hours, I have a snack, which is a Power Crunch bar. I am so tired. These past couple days since I've been doing this plan, I have just been so exhausted. Like my body is obviously extremely sore from workouts that I haven't been doing in a long time. And just from being a lot more active than I normally am on top of taking care of Skyla, it just takes a lot out of me. This is also the time where I usually work on a vlog at this point. Um, usually like right when Skyla goes down for her nap, which should be soon. Uh, she usually gets about two naps a day and it's, it's just about time for her nap. When she starts to rub her eyes and I just know when she's tired, that's when I uh, put her in a sleep sack and put her in her room for a nap. Sometimes while I sit here in my little pod, 
which by the way is amazing, and watch Skyla play. I will watch a net, something on Netflix if I feel like it. Um, I usually watch Schitt's Creek, which is so good and so funny. The Carrie Diaries, which five stars for sure. And then the new one that I'm watching is the OJ Simpson show, which I am like hooked on though. Every time, I always am like, worried to start that one because when I start it I can't stop watching and I'm afraid I'm gonna waste the whole day watching it because it's so interesting. Yes! Yes, that's your bath toy! Silly. For this nap time I just took off her moccasins and put her in this sleep sack. It also helps her from getting her legs stuck in the slats because as you can see we don't have bumpers on the crib. I don't know if you noticed, but right when I put her down and I gave her her, well I didn't, I wasn't, I don't know if you could see that I was giving her the penguin, um, the penguin or the puffin that's attached to the pacifier. Right when I laid her down, turned on the little aquarium and gave her the penguin pacifier, she goes right to sleep. And that is all from doing the cry it out method. So I know that a lot of people don't believe in it, but it's really helped with us and it really has worked for Skyla. I just finished editing a vlog. I had a power crunch bar as a snack. I still haven't had my lunch yet. Oh my God, it's gonna be such a late lunch. Oh, Skyla just had one of these filled with strawberries and she loved it. And my eyes are already bloodshot from my contacts and it's not even half the day over. Here is my lunch, the naked chicken from Snap Kitchen. It's really good. The cauliflower, it's like a cinnamon cauliflower and it tastes so good. I love this meal actually. I'm not sick of it yet and this is day three. I'm watching Jacqueline's Hill, Jacqueline Hill's Valentine makeup tutorial and having my snack. I am having a celery stick, 10 baby carrots, and two hard boiled eggs. I usually like to put pepper and a tiny bit of natural sea salt on them. Not too much salt though because I'm trying to keep my sodium down. And after this snack, well not directly after, but a little bit after, between this and then my dinner is when I do my workout. Ooh, fancy seeing you here. As you guys can see, I am in my garage and I am about to do my workout that Amber gave me. And I can't film my entire workout because it would be way too long, so you're only gonna see like small excerpts First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. It, it, it was unbelievably painful. my bedtime routine because Nick did Sky I mean you didn't get to see Skyla's bedtime routine because Nick did her bedtime routine while I was working out but basically she at seven o'clock he gave her a bottle and then gave her a bath and then put her to bed and I'll show more of that in like future vlogs whenever it's a night that I have time to do that when I'm not working out which I don't know I don't know when that will be I just took a shower obviously I washed this crazy massive hair and Nick preheated the oven for our dinner which is shrimp this is the third night in a row of shrimp what do you call it shrimp chorizo and that's our meal for dinner and then we have one more snack after this I was so sore at my 
workout tonight that there were a couple of the workouts that I couldn't even physically do because it just hurt so bad. I mean, I tried to squat, for example, and my legs just gave out. It was so embarrassing. I felt like such a loser after my workout, but you, everybody has to start somewhere, so kind of felt like a failure. I'm having one Coke Zero. This is the first one I've had in three days, but I am needing a pick-me-up right now. We are eating our two rice cakes. These are the caramel ones, but I think I'm supposed to be eating the chocolate ones, but I had already purchased these, so hopefully that's okay. And the and one tablespoon of almond butter. Okay, it's time for bed. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and put moisturizer and all my creams and stuff on my face and get in bed. I'm exhausted, my whole body feels like I got hit by a truck. So there's that, and then I have a whole nother day of working out tomorrow. Say good night, Nick. Good night. <laughs> good night, everyone. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.